Hello. Hello, beautiful. There you are again oh, on Instagram oh, and oh, Facebook thank you. Live. Thank you. And this is our Valentine's Day show. That's the red. Because we're not going to be here more red than me. tomorrow. Okay, I wore red. Suzanne's wearing red. And her glasses are even red. Everything's red today. That's good. Yeah. You know? Anyway, um... What do you want to talk about, Al? Well, we could talk about the fact that my best friend passed. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I haven't seen you this upset in a long time. Well, you it's know. Upset with your heartstrings. You know? But you know, feelings are wonderful. Yeah. You, you always have such expect. Feeling for him. Yeah, you always expect your loved ones are going to be there. You know, intellectually, they're not, but. Yeah. You always feel, yeah, they're going to be there. It's like your parents. I always knew my parents would be waiting for me <laughs> when I'd go visit. They were. They yeah, were. That's right. They were. The door was always unlocked and the soup was always made. Always. Yeah. And you used to like to surprise your mother and I would say, you know, she's a great cook. Yeah. And she loves when we come over and surprising her, she can't do any of her special things. Because she'd always, when you'd walk in, um, surprising her, she'd go, oh. I know, but I remember the one time we told her we were coming, and she made a duck, roast duck dinner. Mm -hmm. And after the dinner, Russell, who's our nephew, said, sure, we have to wait for the <laughs> two of them to come before we get roasted duck dinner. So we never got duck again. Right. <laughs> I sent you a piece that I read. I can't remember where I got it. A very similar story to our cherry pie story. Very yeah. similar. Yeah. I'll dig it out and I'll read it sometime. Yeah. Anyway, you look beautiful today. Well, thank you. And not that you don't every day, but well, there's something you. about your eyes today. I don't know what it is. Mm. Yeah, beautiful. Mm. And I don't know if you're sitting, you feel good there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I was going to move you. Yeah, forward. I tried our. Um, mascara today but uh, whoever used the samples last didn't close it up and so the mascara was kind of dry oh. and i couldn't really get it on my eyelashes but well I tried. you know i'm a bit of a germaphobe but i wouldn't share mascara yeah i don't care about things like that no. now, you're watching too much larry david <laughs> with the germaphobe thing I, I identify with Larry David. I get it. <laughs> Yesterday, it, it took me 20 minutes to open a package that was sealed in plastic. Oh, that's my favorite. Oh, yeah. You know the, all the, the sealed plastic packaging that comes yep. on everything? Such a waste. And you can't open it. Well, Larry David spends the show yep. trying to open a couple of packages <laughs> until finally he smashes them with his feet and kills it. <laughs> and yeah. then it's like, okay, good, Larry, you killed it. Now what? <laughs> you know, it's too, too bad you never worked with him. I would have loved to work yeah, with him. Yeah, it would have been great. Yeah. Because he's your kind of... Uh, I would so get his rhythm. Yeah. Larry, if you're watching, I'd, I'd go back to TV for you. No, she wouldn't, Larry. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't want to do a series. Oh, that's different. Yeah. I okay. just want to show up once in a while. Like his... Like his friends do, like Jerry Seinfeld last night showed up for a few minutes. And so, you know, on their way to wherever they're going, they stop off and shoot a little Larry David and then go home and are home um, mid-afternoon. You sound like a booking agent. I know. I love that character, the, the booking agent, Jeff. Oh, yeah. He's funny. I think he's for real. Oh, really? I think he, he's not a booking agent. He's like the manager. I think he's for real. Oh, really? I think so. Well, yeah. he's so spot on. Yeah. Well, that's what managers are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you yeah. consider yourself a manager? Pardon me? No. You're good at it. Yeah. But You're no. really good at what you do. Yeah. Thank you. Anyway. Oh, wait, there. wait, we didn't clink. For oh. all of you who are sharing a tequila with us. Okay. Okay. Casa Dragones. Mm -hmm. And we don't own it. 
I'm not pushing it because we own it. It's just great tequila. And I buy the cheap stuff. I think they have two or three levels, but my favorite, it's not cheap, but it's not expensive. Hey, you know, you didn't turn on the music. I couldn't turn it on. How come? It's, uh, you know, electronic. Anything that's electronic. You're uh, usually good at it. I know. I won a scholarship with, with, in engineering. You did? Okay. Yeah, I did. At Ryerson? That's right. I'll show you that picture sometime. There were no, five I of believe us. that you have a mind for that. Yeah, well, I had a great teacher. And, it's all about a great teacher. And you were a great student. Yeah, there's something weird about what's going on in schools today with the teachers and the kids and the masking and the government and the unions and it's all like nuts. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. No, don't. But I'm glad. <laughs> Caroline, I'm glad our kids... for, for, for two people who are so in love and love to do nothing more than talk about how in love you are, the Valentine's <laughs> show is not up to a very loving, positive <laughs> Yeah, don't talk about that stuff. Okay. okay. In fact, I don't know if you noticed, I didn't watch TV all day today by design. I didn't want that that uh, well that's good in my brain yeah i don't i can watch tv and i have no idea what they're saying all i hear is blah 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 i'm not kidding so i, I, I tolerate it if you like to watch it uh but i it to me it's noise now. i like noise in the house whether it's the radio um sonos i know but that's because of your your drunk dad <laughs> I forgive that my dad. That was a segue into Valentine's Day. Yeah. Valentine's <laughs> Day. Me, I was segueing you into, oh, that's right. That's okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I know the answer to this With question. Gift today. Yep. I know the answer to this question. What is the question? Will you be my Valentine? Mm. Are you kidding? I love you. I know. And I love, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> And that's the way it is. Yeah, yeah. So what'd you get me? Uh, I, I uh, got you a guy, and he's six feet tall. Yeah. And, I don't need a guy. I he, got a guy. He's actually, he's, he's wearing a red shirt today. Oh. And Maybe that guy will come over here. It's, that's good. Uh, possible. Yeah. Yeah, come over here, guy. Where do you see him? Don't oversell this. How do you, how do you oversell okay. a red shirt? This is the shirts from my dear, dear, dear friend, Phyllis. Yeah. Okay. I love Phyllis. Actually, I have more female friends than male. You do? I do. I like that. Yeah. Phyllis Washington. Yeah, I could actually start a harem. Okay. Yeah. It's got to be a nightmare to have a harem. Because I don't know how it works, even though I read a book about it once a long time ago. I don't know if... I late, did too. The late, you interrupted me again. I know, but okay. I wanted to I don't know if the them. ladies of the harem are anxious to interact with uh, Papa. Arab guy. Or whether they don't like it. Okay? I, I don't, don't know. know. If there's any ex-harem people watching, okay? <laughs> Just hit us there, either Instagram well, or Facebook. Isn't that book, that I, I read it, I think it's the same one you read, called The Saudis. I don't remember. And uh, it, it described that. So we don't know the answer to that. We think we know the answer to everything. We don't know the answer to that. Huh. So someone knows the answer, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm going to go check the screen to go see if To see if someone has the answer. Yeah. Doesn't he look great? Mm. Anyway, today is makeup day. Uh, I think we women forget that chemicals on the skin uh, start with uh, the skin care you use, uh, the hair care you use, the color cosmetics you use, and um, we have a whole line of organic makeup that's so great and so beautiful. And the free gift today is garnet. And the reason we're giving it on Valentine's Day because it's very hard uh, to organically get the depth of color of this garnet. And it's a beautiful cover. I love it. If, if I wore lipstick, I'd wear garnet. How about, how about wearing it? Oh. 
Well, He's okay. actually turned on. Well, okay. Yeah. Now you're talking. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Now I'll be complete. Okay. Okay. Come here. I'll have a, a, a red shirt and actually... You could wear my red gloves. I could. I don't think so. Hmm? But here's the garnet. Or do you have no, garnet? No, I have the garnet. Okay. Okay. Give me your lips. Put them in front of me. Let's go over here. Uh-huh. How do you put on lipstick? Yeah, let me get in there. Let me get in there. Come on. <laughs> Come on. These are lips that are not used to wearing lipstick. No shit. No shit? <laughs> okay, turn your, turn your face. Okay. All right. You get the top, this side. <laughs> you look like I used to look when I would sneak my sister's lipstick and put it on. I didn't sneak it. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I did a terrible job. <laughs> well, obviously we're going to have to stay in this evening. Yeah, okay. yeah. What a cheap way to get out of buying me dinner. Well. You put it on, because you can feel your lips. Oh, I can do that. Yeah. Okay, I'll be back. All right. Okay. What I love about oh, him. Al, Al, just look in the camera. Do it in the camera. It's funnier. He's a nut. I know. I know. <laughs> It really is. And it's amazing. It really, really looks like the color of garnet. It's yeah. not, it has a little bit of brightness in it. Because Suzanne, um, her makeup, you guys, is, it's colored from fruit fruits like cranberries and oranges. And Let so me there's, see. there's no artificial color in anything. <laughs> Actually, you do a good job. Okay. Your lips aren't that big, but. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a little okay. kiss, will ya, huh? What are you gonna miss, will ya, huh? Gosh, oh gee, how can I refuse? I can't see what you're gonna lose. So give me a little kiss, will ya, huh? And I'll give it right back to you, oh yeah. I'll give it right back to you. So the other colors we have in lipstick, you get the Garnet Free, we've got Honey Glow, which is beautiful, Berry Pop, uh, Caramelized Peach, which is one of the ones that I use, Antique Rose, Coral Crush, and Garnet. And you used to use Berry Pop. I do use, it's, uh, I said one of the oh, ones okay. I love. Berry Pop and for my coloring, and Caramelized Peach are the best. Although today I've got a much deeper, I, I guess, oh, I use Garnet tonight. So I've got Garnet on. You and I are Garnets. Well, if you have the nerve to go out with me like this, I'll go out with you like this. I, I'll go out with you. Okay. We're on. I'm always proud to be with you. Okay. <laughs> Even Would you with... go out with them, Caroline, looking like this? 100%. Okay, see, you got the girl's okay. approval. By the way, the so, app is... Yeah. So the gift is free with any purchase of $34.99 or more on SuzanneSummers.com. So it's site-wide. You can pick out anything you want for $34.99. You don't need a promo code. And you'll be asked at the end of checkout if you would like the free gift. And the free gift is that garnet lipstick. Yeah, you, you, and, you can spend thirty four ninety nine or anything more than that. And we've got our little concealer pot. Now, this is the thing that I, when I wake up at 3 in the morning, I go in the bathroom and I do that. And I do.
do that. I remember the day that you were talking about your favorite things, and there were three, I believe. And that was one of them. I don't remember the second one. And the third one was me. And I thought, oh, I'm so proud to be honored with concealer. <laughs> if anything, concealer, that's like... You that, ask these ladies. They all love the concealer, don't you? Yeah, they, they do. love it. Yeah. And I, I mainly use light, but I also have medium and dark, and I use all three. Sometimes... To even it out, I put all three on. Makeup is to be played with. Do you remember when you were a little girl? And uh, I don't know if you had a sister, but they always have, if you're the younger sister, your older sister has all the makeup. And that's what you fight about, that you use my makeup. No, I didn't. And I did. I did. Um, but um, we, we always overdid our lips when we were using makeup back then. And... Um, it was so fun. But what we didn't realize was that the makeup they were selling us back then is loaded, loaded with chemicals. Loaded, loaded, loaded. And I never thought about it. I thought, oh, so what? Oh, I now, it's, using this makeup is so important to me. And, and also the um, flawless finish. When you put this flawless finish on your face, you look flawless, you look beautiful. And what it does is it, it um, goes over your skin and fills in the pores, but doesn't make them, you know, turn into something toxic. That makes sense? I don't know. Anyway, I love it. I love the lipstick, I love the blushes. Look at this beautiful, this is, I think, Berry Pop. Yeah, Berry Pop uh, blush, which I have on right now. And we have, um, you can see it all on SuzanneSummers.com. Coral Crush, such a beautiful color. You actually want to lick them, they're so beautiful. And this is uh, Antique Rose. And even though that's not the greatest color on me, lipstick-wise, it's a great color with the blush. They're all pretty, Pale. What is this one? Caramelized peach blush. Looks like we dropped it. It's a little messy. Um, so we've got, and then we've got the powder. And when you need loose powder, this is the matte finish mineral powder. This is great. This is really great. In fact, I never used a powder until I had this makeup artist in the 70s and he put all the shading and everything on me. I didn't know anything about makeup before I started working with him. His name was Bjorn and um, he wouldn't consider finishing a face without then doing a final dusting of the matte powder and wow it really did make a difference. And is there anything else? Oh yeah. the. Um, yeah. What did you do? I, the top wasn't on tight. Oh, okay. You could pick it up for me. I will. All right. So, uh, a woman said on Instagram, maybe I got it. Oh yeah, Terra Nova. Al's got a little whistle in his nose when he believes. I don't know what that means. When he believes, when he behaves, when he. Anyway, I have a whistle in my nose. Well, that could be I'm not a talent. Surprised. I, I you, could do an act. Okay? I, I'm not surprised. It's, it's like You're the, the most honest man I've ever known. Wow. Well, I have trouble. I have a short term memory when it comes to lying. Anyway, you know, a guy I remember in Paris like 100 years ago, mm -hmm. he had a talent, and uh, it was an unusual, unique talent. I don't know if anybody else has ever duplicated it. And he was called Le Patoman. I don't oh, know what yeah. that means. It, I think it probably means what his talent is all about. He would play to Qu sold que out. Petoman? Le Petoman. He would play to sold out theaters in Paris day after day after day. And they would have a couple of ambulances outside because people would laugh so hard they would <laughs> pass out. Really, they'd pass out. This and is his talent. His talent. Multi-stick. His talent was farting. 
he, he, got a he had a he had an act and he could put a candle in the middle of the stage, walk to the wings, turn around and blow the candle out. Yeah, but you know what? How about Rihanna last night on the Super Bowl? Well, I, I can't. Grabbing her crotch and then no. smelling her fingers. I thought that was kind of. Mm. I really think she did not hit the mark last night. By the way, just so you know, these are multi-sticks and this one is, my eyes are so bad. Um, so was it the crotch rubbing or the finger smelling that got you? The combination was gross, I thought. What do you think out well, there? Well, Michael right? Jackson, I mean, you know, he... It was different with Michael. Well, he didn't smell his fingers. No, so I guess it was his finger smell. It was fingers, yeah. Yeah. Sunrise. Well, these are both sunrise, but they look like different colors. Anyway, you'll see it on the uh, SuzanneSummers.com. You know, her dancers were quite incredible. What do you mean? She had this whole troupe of dancers. She must have had 30 dancers. And did were... all the work. She, she just sort of walked well, back I, and yeah, forth I mean, across I the stage. I looked at it and I thought, you didn't turn up for rehearsal. Right. And I was so looking forward to it. I, yeah. I really, really wanted to like her last night. And I've liked her in the past and she has great style. But I thought her outfits missed. I, I just think she didn't hit the bar. I, I like her. I just, last night was... I like of, her too, a, a lot. That's a why I, I was on the phone with Leslie and I said, I gotta go. Wow, I loved it. You did? Loved it. Oh, really? I did not. Yeah, but, I, but you guys probably don't know her songs. Do you know any of her music? It wasn't the music, it was, it was, the, it was her. Yeah. I just yeah, but I, if you know the songs, they're like all iconic songs. And I don't know, it's, it's been seven or eight years since she performed live. Yeah. So it's been sort of like, I thought she was dynamic enough to hold it without having to pull out a lot of tricks. But that just goes to show. Yeah. Not everyone. I mean, as a performer same. myself, I watched her and I thought, you're you're kind of phoning this in. And um, I honestly expected that all that costuming she had on, that she's going to end up, you know, tearing her clothes off. And then she, then she would have uh, made an impact, I think. She's pregnant. That's that's why she's she's pregnant. She announced her pregnancy during the show. Oh, really? That was why she, that, yeah, she was rubbing her belly as an announcement that she was pregnant. She wasn't, I didn't oh. think she was rubbing her crotch and smelling her fingers. Oh, I well, I read it, I, I read it in the, on, I didn't catch that at all. I read it on it was, two different news feeds today, and I thought, it is yeah, what I saw. No, that, that wasn't, that wasn't true. She just, she had a baby, like, 10 months ago and she's pregnant with the second baby so she was rubbing her belly to make the announcement oh okay. so it sounds like that was just kind of a hateful article two so articles pretty sweet. two articles i read well yeah you you of all people know someone can say something that's not true and reprinted <laughs> you know the, you know of all of all the columnists but anyway, you don't have to like you know not everyone liked it but yeah rolling stone sure loved it they thought it was like in the top 10 of all Super Bowls. They rated at number eight, I think. Really? Wow. Yeah. I'm I'm um, surprised. Leslie didn't like it. Yeah. Well. And she had a similar reaction as I did. Well. Yeah. Think well. how many more people would have watched the halftime game if she had been Le Petal Man. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh la la. I guess. Cha, I, cha, cha. <laughs> I mean, what an act. Yeah, have no. a baby. Pardon? Have a baby. <laughs> have a baby. I did like, here's what I did like. I did like the long red sleeping bag coat at the end. I thought that was kind of beautiful. But I think it would have been more beautiful if she had bare legs. Um, yeah, it's... it's Anyway, she's, she, you know, she's got some pregnant, so she doesn't look this, the way she does before she had baby. So I think she's just, it was a pregnancy thing. Yeah. 
Anyway. I always no, love her. Really want, you're not wanting to be out. You don't, you're not really in your minis. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess. But anyway. Anyway. I love her style as a general rule. It's just fantastic. Okay. Anyway. What? <laughs> for those of you who came late, our deal today for the free gift is you get a garnet lipstick. That's a red lipstick. The retail value is Very only thirty-four ninety-nine. With any purchase of thirty-four ninety-nine or more. And pulling off a, a, a non organic lipstick of this depth is a very hard thing to do. That's why you've never found it. And um, here's a lipstick with no chemicals in it, no, nothing bad, and it's got shea butter and, and uh, all those wonderful things in it. And um, it's got depth. You can wear red lips like I'm wearing. Your lips are kissable. Hmm. That should be a song. Why don't you write it? You could write that. Okay. But then I get to sing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You sing great. Yeah. 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 I sing Steve Allen songs. You do? Yeah. When we were at the Egyptian embassy, um, Steve Allen was there, and you sat down on the piano bench with him, and you two sang. That was cool. Yeah, he played the piano and I sang. Yeah, it was cool. And the Egyptian ambassador kept saying to me, you're my brother. And you know <laughs> what? When he, he actually answered the door, we do lose, or the, the one then, that was, when was that? That was like in the 70s? Maybe, 80s? Yeah. Maybe. We did look alike, you know. I liked him, he was very nice. Yeah. We've met some very nice people. So here we are. I think we've rounded the horn for the day. Why? What time is it? I can't tell you that. Uh, let me see. I can't tell you that. I can tell you it's nine hours later in London right now. It's 4.30. Okay. But you know what? <laughs> you know what? What? Violet is doing the after show tonight. Okay. Little kooky granddaughter. Okay. She's, She's going to do a makeup tutorial for you guys and show you all the colors. And, and if somebody her age can do a makeup tutorial, then these are easy to work with. And she's very talented. She went very. to art school in, in Italy. And, um, but she's enjoying that you all are thinking that she and I have similar personalities and look alike. We don't look alike, but we probably have similar you, manners. You know, your features are very similar, just different coloring. Uh, that's probably it, and we, and we have um, uh, mannerisms that are similar from being around each other all our lives. So, I love Violet. Do you love Violet? I love Violet, but I've always loved Violet, and we have a connection. What's the connection? We're both quirky. She told me so. <laughs> are you listening, Violet? <laughs> We're both quirky. Mm. She told me that when she was 12, I think, or 13. She's pretty right on. You're both quirky. And I thought, you know, for a girl this age to even know the word quirky. So then I recognized <laughs> this woman's got an IQ that is well above 115. Do you know she your does. IQ? Sweet. What? Do you know your IQ? I don't. Yeah. I bet I have a high IQ. I think you do too. Because I took the SAT test when I was leaving high school, and I just guessed at everything. <laughs> everything. I go, I don't know. So, the, so your high IQ said, instead of trying to answer these questions, I'm just going to guess at them. Yeah. And right. I got that was the a smart thing highest, to do. The second highest rating in the whole area. That's funny. I know. That's like on Wall Street, they bring in a monkey every so often, <laughs> and he picks the right stocks. <laughs> or she. Probably a she. How do you know? I don't know. Don't go there. You have to check. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, have a wonderful Valentine's Day tomorrow. And um, God bless my dear pal, mm. the brother I never had, Guido Basso, who's probably playing his first gig in the invisible world. Mm. 
I know that he probably took both horns, the flugel and the trumpet, <laughs> and his harmonica. And hit them. <laughs> yeah, great, really uh, great. Yeah. And uh, we're going to post something on um, on Tw was it? Yeah, Instagram and also Facebook Live about Guido and me. And the irony is that Guido and his wife were visiting us two months ago. And, um, and now he's gone. That's, that's God's way of saying, make the most of every moment. Right. right. Don't take any day for granted. Not yeah. a day. Every day is important in the scheme of life. And I never thought when I was saying goodbye to them at the airport, I'd never see him again. So God bless you, Guido. Yep. Um, Auf Wiedersehen. Yeah, yeah. All right. I just want to, today more than ever, you know the story, but I'm going to say it again. I was in a hospital bed and... Um, with me. With, the, with you. Well, I, but they didn't know what was wrong with me. And um, I looked at Alan, who was lying in my little bed, and my kids who were lying at my feet. And I heard a loud speaker, like that. And it, a voice came on. And Alan and my kids didn't wake up. And the voice said, it's not who you are. It's not what you do. It's not what you have. It's only about who you love and who loves you, and I love you. Good night. Have a wonderful Valentine's night. Bye-bye.